Hello guys, today a new Raspberry Pi project just arrived, which is this new Raspberry Pi 5 2 gigabyte version. As you can see, I've got one with me right here. So, without any further delay, let's open, uh, let's unbox this, talk about its specs, and I'll show you how to set this up. To begin with, we have the new Broadcom BCM2712 processor which is clocked at 2.4 GHz and with 2 GB of LPDDR4X RAM which is 30% more efficient than normal DDR4 RAM. Along with uh, this, we have uh, dual 4K 60 monitor support. So without any further delay, let's unbox it and set it up. On opening the box, you will have the Raspberry Pi 5 itself, a few literatures. So uh, set those literatures aside and let's inspect the Pi first to see which header or port is where on the board. Since the new Pi 5 uses a powerful processor, we recommend using an active cooler and we'll be using the official Raspberry Pi 5 cooler to keep our temps low and 32 GB of microSD card to set up our Raspberry Pi OS. Grab your SD card and insert it in your card reader. Plug it into your PC and open up the Pi Imager tool and select the Pi 5 and 64 bit desktop OS and other options too. Set your Wi Fi and account credentials before starting the process. While it's doing its thing, we'll be installing the cooler onto the Pi 5. Line up the cooler with the board and press down the clamping pins so it should clip into its place. Connect the fan cable to the fan port on the Pi 5. And after the Imager tool is done, take your SD card out and insert into your Pi's SD card slot and after that, connect a monitor, a mouse and a keyboard to it. As it's the first time, so it might take some time to boot into the desktop. After booting in into the desktop, you are done almost. To test it, let's go to YouTube and play back a 1080p 60fps video to see if it plays it smoothly or not and as you can see that it is able to play it smoothly open up the uh, process manager and we can see here we still have much more processing headroom available to us let me pull the neo fetch and you can see here that we are running the raspberry pi 5 with 2 gb of ram so yeah there's much more which can be achieved using this raspberry pi 5 and this is it for this video and we'll see in the next one